I am Kapil Mohan, and I'm I'm to moderate this session. And uh, I have with me, as you can see, Dr. S uh, Satish, who is ambassador at large. Am I right, Satish? Uh, you can ask him in the interaction section what exactly that means. And uh, for Schneider Electric, and Mr. James Thompson from Deloitte, and uh, Anurag, Mr. Anurag from Vipro Eco Energy. And uh, I believe uh, we have 45 minutes to the session. So I promise that we'll stick to this time limit for the pure and simple reason that after this I have to also run and catch a flight. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will set the uh, ball rolling uh, by talking about uh, energy efficiency and, and the reasons, I guess, uh, why IS has chosen to have a session on this. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, energy uh, is, um, I work in Ministry of Power. And uh, the Bureau of Energy Efficiency is a statutory body in the, under the Ministry of Power. Uh, power is electricity in India, and energy, of course, has many forms. Uh, but we look after energy efficiency in all the forms. Uh, so uh, that's, that's our mandate. Uh, something about India, which uh, quite a few of us might be knowing, and why uh, I, I would like to give a brief background. Our per capita consumption uh, of uh, energy, if taken in electrical terms, uh, these units yeah, are interchangeable. Uh, is uh, somewhere around uh, 750 uh, units per person per year, which is one-fifth of the world average. And uh, this is bound to increase. Of course, it is increasing. In the very near term, it is go bound to go up to 1,000 in by 2012. And at the rate uh, the economy is growing, uh, we'll, uh, we need a growth rate of around 9% to, 9 to keep pace uh, with this. It's of course, uh, uh, with, you, know, you, you have to generate more. Uh, uh, where, where, uh, you have to supply more kind of energies. It could be fossil energy, uh, fossil fuel based energy, there is coal, lignite or anything, with its uh, concomitant uh, climate uh, issues, carbon dioxide emissions and so on and so forth. Also, uh, we require, uh, as we, as we, uh, as, uh, uh, as we gen uh, keep pace with the demands uh, of energy for a growing economy, we have also to uh, keep, uh, keep a check on our the efficiency with which you are using. So uh, I said that we use very less energy per capita. But if you see uh, our energy intensity, that is how much energy which you use per unit of output, we don't even figure in the top 10 countries of the world. So they're, they're, even though we use uh, less energy per capita, we use it quite inefficiently. So that's a big business opportunity which is there, and which is what we would like to target at and uh, we are in the midst of implementing something known as National Mission on Enhanced Energy Efficiency, uh, where we are targeting mm, eight major sectors of the Indian industry, uh, uh, which, which are the big boys. That basically, you know, uh, generation of power, uh, coal, uh, sorry, fertilizer, steel, cement, textiles, pulp and paper, uh, and chloralkali and aluminium, which consume the maximum uh, energy and trying to see that in the next three years, starting from 1st ap April of next year, they reduce their energy, uh, energy use, uh, energy intensity by about 4.5 to 5% in the next three years. Uh, this all will result in about 23 million, million tons of oil equivalent, uh, which is, uh, in rupees, it should come to around 26,000. 27,000 crores per year per, uh, per per year savings, you know. Uh, so uh, that's what what we seek to do. We are we have various ways we, which we do, uh, we are doing it. Uh, well, that's enough about uh, the the policy framework on energy efficiency. Coming to today's topic, uh, in the we we feel the role of ICT is in energy efficiency, and that's very important. Uh, and it's a, it has a very important role to play. It has a very important role to play uh, because we, the energy efficiency will, will result from better m and monitoring and verification. It will require meters, it will require sensors, it will require a lot of things. In fact, somebody asked a question last and uh, Professor Kata <laughs> did not, uh, yes, he, I, I do understand if the speaker is, is still around here what we are trying to say, yes. So it will require a lot of m and and that MNV cannot remain manual. I mean, it's going to, if it is going to be manual, then the benefits of that are going to be substantially diluted. So we need to have a very important role over there. The second is uh, to move. Uh, we have been in uh, promotion energy efficient appliances. 
uh, you might have been familiar with our labeling program of five star, four star uh, for consumer durable goods. We now want to move to smart appliances. And what are smart appliances? I mean, smart appliances would have some intelligence built into those, enabling two-way communication between the appliance and the, and the, and the, and the energy supplier. This will lead to better load management if I'm talking of electricities. It will also enable us to plug something which is at mass use. Mass use could be industrial, it could be commercial, it could be residential, directly into the grids. Thus, integrating a chain, energy supply chain, from a generator in case of power sector, we are just restricting to that, right down to the consumer. Uh, things like time of the day metering, uh, load management, uh, demand response, all are to uh, all can only be done if they are enabled and enab enablement will arise only out of ICT which will require some effort as a country on our part to go for smartness which would be impregnated into the appliances or, or consumption energy consumption devices at, at the manufacturing stage itself. This is why we have in engaged ISA to develop a vision on 2020 uh, to see how our manufacturing uh, will have to integrate the, so the semiconductors or the, you, can say, you can say the chips, you know, into the manufacturing, come down to low point, uh, price points which are amenable to uh, consumer, consumers in India, both in the metering as well as in the appliances. And then of course also be interoperable enough to work in a larger framework of the ICT. So it requires us protocol standards and things, etc. A policy and regulatory framework which needs to be built around which whole of this segment of the industry would need to grow. I think I've taken enough time, but I uh, thought it uh, uh, it worth my while to say what I feel uh, w would be the role of semiconductor industry. So we would like them to work with the manufacturers, the designers, to come out with products, and lastly. The, the two things which I told you, the lastly I think is the increasing need of automation in energy to yield energy efficiency benefits which would come out of a reliable source of energy. Okay, so these are the three areas where, I th uh, where we feel that uh, semiconductors could play a role. Of course, there are peripheral industries like lead, uh, lead which we feel are a great potential in India. We are making a big shift to the LEDs which will be visible to us in next three years. We have just uh, floated uh, the National Lighting Code for uh, LEDs, LEDs, and um, uh, which will, uh, uh, we hope, uh, uh, trigger manufacturing in the LED, domestic manufacturing in the LED, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are many other parallel activities which uh, we in the BEE take upon our part. Now I will yield to my uh, panel. We have uh, three speakers, uh, Mr. Anurag, um, James, and uh, Dr. Satish. Uh, now this clock has magically increased our time to 70 minutes, which makes me very pleased. So I would suggest that uh, if, we, if uh, my panelists would like to take a time between 12, 12 minutes or so to talk about their issues and uh, balance time uh, we can have for interaction, which I think is more fun, you know, in any case. And uh, uh, 12, 12 minutes each, that, that's fine. And uh, we can start from my extreme left. That is Mr. Anurag Srivastava of Vipro Ecoenergy. And I do not know which of my uh, co-panelists would like to inflict a PowerPoint. So they're free to do, as long as it's within 12 minutes. Thank you. All yours.